I finally get it. That's the Garmin Ipix 2. And it's in my hands since almost 24 hours. So it's going to be a first impression video, not a review, just a first impression video. And I got a lot of question uh, to compare it with the Garmin Fenix 7X. So I'll do that into that video, of course, and also compare it to with the um, Garmin Tactics Delta and the Fenix 6 Pro. So, well, let's do this. <laughs> oh yeah. So, my impression about that video was uh, very low. Uh, <laughs> well, not very low, but I get it. It's an AMOLED screen. It looks so much better. But the battery life, the battery life on paper is so low. Um, so, how do I like it? <laughs> Let's switch to that camera angle so you can see. Uh, that's the seven. Well, let's spring on the four watches. Okay. And be careful. There might be have some, you see, there is some uh, reflection. Uh, it doesn't look this bad, but uh, make it look a little bad. Uh, anyway, so that is the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro no sapphire that is the garmin tactics delta solar sapphire that is the garmin 7x solar sapphire and that is the garmin epix 2. uh be careful uh you might have realized that is not the original band of the uh garmin phoenix 7x uh that's the original band it's the nylon tactical band uh, i got it with my tactics and the tactics was coming with two bands and that one is not so i just use the one of my tactics because that's my favorite band uh you can buy it separately on the on the garmin uh store i'll leave link in the description if you want to order it and yeah the garmin uh ipix 2 come with a silicon band i would have liked uh it to come with a nylon band but it doesn't so uh, the main difference, uh, it, it's it's both almost the same watch. They got the same thing on the on the inside. It's just that the Apex 2 ju just got a an AMOLED screen, and it looks fantastic. Uh, if we look at like that, uh, that's a 6 Pro, no Sapphire. You can see that if we, you compare it with um, the Sapphire screen, it always look um, a bit clearer. Uh, on, on the non sapphire screen that's a gorilla screen uh and yes uh sapphire screen they are almost not scratchable but but uh it's less clear so that's that's what it does but in my opinion uh when i spend a thousand dollar and even more on a watch i don't want I don't want it to be eventually scratched, so it's not a question to ask. It's sapphire. Uh, it's not not the negotiable. <laughs> and now, if we compare with the two latest watch, uh, that's what we got. Uh, actually, uh, you might think that the 7X look a bit clearer than the Apex 2. Um, and, well, whoa. Not anymore, <laughs> because when you turn on the backlight, wow, wow, uh, yeah, see, well, that's with the backlight, with the Phoenix 7, and that's full brightness, full brightness just like that with the uh, Epix 2, it just looks so much better, it just looks so much better, uh, it, it's so much clearer, the black are black, and that's the way it is and that's how they look without the light uh, I didn't yet test it in um, in a day environment but I take a walk uh, last night and I did realize and by working into my office because when I'm working here normally every light is shut and well it's I, I work in a dark environment and 
It is so much easier to read uh, that screen than this one when you are into a dark environment. And the reason is that this screen is um, MIB or IMB in memory pixel, pixel, in memory pixel, so IMB, if I'm not wrong. Uh, this means uh, that the watch send the information to the screen to display that color to every pixel and when the and when the information is sent uh the pixel remember that's why the in memory pixel the uh, pixel remember the color to display and once that information is received it take very 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 low power to uh well power the watch and in the case of uh this watch it's an amoled screen the amoled screen need to produce light to broadcast the pixel so that's why it, it consumes so much more energy and as as you've seen i put it it was off i put it on always on display but if you remove it from your wrist it will uh it will go off but if you keep Keep it on your wrist it will remain on all the time but after some time it will just turn like that in a sleep mode uh, but yeah uh, okay uh, and uh, and the point of that is that you see the black they're just off so the black are are deep black see there is no difference if the screen is on or off so, so, so that's the big difference about the the screen, and so well, where I want, wanted to go with that is that because it have to produce light to broadcast something when you are into a dark environment, it look it's easier to read, even if it's uh, dark like that, it's easier to read because it actually produces a light. This one you can see it just because there is light. On it because I have my projector just over the camera otherwise you don't see anything if you are in a pitch black environment you don't see anything on that one unless you activate the backlight with that one if you are in the, in the pitch black room you do see the screen so well that's a very positive point but the cost of this is that you see that actually I'm on smartwatch mode and I've got 51% battery left, which will be three days. So at full battery, with the always on display mode, it's about six days of battery. Uh, but it's not that bad if you go into, uh, let's say, if you go into inactivity. So if I go in walk mode, I use the GPS. So I still have 12 hours, so about 24 hours with uh, full battery. So yeah, a very short battery life into... Uh, into smartwatch mode but if you are into an activity it's not that bad and well, I say it's not that bad if you take an Apple watch or something like that you got what one or two days of battery two if you're lucky so having six with that one actually is very very great uh, it's just that if you compare it with the 7x well the 7x actually my battery is almost full and I got uh, well, actually, that, you see, I have nine days of battery, and that's because I turn on the backlight always on, just to compare it fairly with the other one that produce light all the time. Uh, but if I come here into backlight, and I say in general use to, uh, to go maybe at something lower, like that, at 20%, uh, and... I uh, will put the timeout. Where is my timeout? Timeout at uh, eight seconds, which would be more normal. Uh, I would have twenty-seven days of battery, and I can uh, set it. If I set it to ten percent, I will get twenty-nine days of battery. So, yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, let's come back here. I would just put it back the backlight higher, just to compare it maybe more fairly um, general use set it the same way and keep the backlight on uh, I, I did realize that if I set uh, 
no timeout, so getting the, the backlight on all the time, and put the brightness level at 5 or 5%, 5 I still got 24 days of battery. And what I told you, and wh why would I do that, is that because that one always produces light, so if I want to always produce light on that one, but at the very minimal, well, I still got a, a lot of time. Uh, but on to that one, if I go into walk and I start my activity, I will now have 50, 60? What is it? 50? Ah. 64 hours. And that's with the backlight I always turn on. I can't go even uh, higher, a lot more higher, if I disable the backlight. So, yeah, that's how the two looks just like that but uh okay i had some question in my head about that because if the ipex 2 always produce light how is it to sleep with it because yes if you go in a pitch black environment it produces light and you can see it so the way it works if you go into night mode Actually, mine is set to go in night mode automatically at 22 o'clock up to 9 in the morning. And uh, if I go into night mode right here, the watch will look like this when you go to sleep. And I don't know if you realize, but the only thing you have is the date, the time. It says uh, night mode and do not disturb. And the numbers are empty. And it's because every pixel that are turned on produce light. So they made it to have the less pixel turn on to produce the less light possible. And when you do sleep, well, the, the, the screen will just turn off. So you will need to touch a button or to touch the screen to see something. Is it bad? No, because if I take my 7X and I want to look at look at it in my in my uh, in my room at night, I would have to press the backlight button to see something. Otherwise, I won't see anything because it doesn't produce light. So I need to turn on the backlight to see something. So you see, it goes. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, now it turns on when I do move it, but I can tell you that. Uh, last night, I was moving it anyway, and it doesn't turn on. So uh, you need to touch the screen, or you need to press a button to turn it on. Very, very well done. Uh, very, very satisfied with that. Uh, if you want to have the main uh, the main screen like that, uh, you can. You can configure it to, to have it at night, but it will just produce more light um, it will just produce more light. So, uh, no, I, I like that. I think it was a very good idea. Now, another point about the screen is um, the flashlight. Um, see the flashlight on the 7X. Actually, if I just double press that, I learned that from a few comments. It does turn on the backlight. So, so not the backlight, the flashlight. That's a real flashlight. And it produces like it produces a good amount of light. Um, really enjoy that feature on the 7X. Doesn't have that on that one, but the flashlight on this one does look like that. It's the same idea as with the uh, old one. Uh, that one was like that. So that's a flashlight on the Tactics Delta. It's the same principle on the Phoenix 6, like that. That's the flashlight. So yes, it does turn on a white light. And yes, it does work. It creates a real light. And if you are in a pitch black environment, it does help. My questioning is, well, th the good point about that backlight is that you can choose the amount of light it will produce. And you can even have a red light. That's handy. That's handy. Um, and uh, because it's not producing a backlight, the more pixel that are on produce more light. So that just makes sense. But 
why doesn't they have made a just full white page like they done on that one is it because it will consume too much power i don't know i don't know seriously i, I don't know but i wouldn't have liked that they they, don't, they done that uh last uh, yesterday i take my shower with that uh, with the watch on my wrist in a pitch black uh, bathroom and well it was fine it was produce enough enough light so i can see everything in my shower well of course i i had to to point but uh that was uh totally fine uh i just i mean it produced more light than those two probably together <laughs> um with that but i'm just wondering why they didn't they didn't just give the option to have a full white screen i just wonder why uh, but still, it does a great job. It's not comparable with a real flashlight that you can have on this one. Very not comparable. You see, if I send it to uh, to my mat, you can see it. And if I pick that one, it, it just doesn't create anything. It just doesn't. <laughs> so it's not comparable. Um yeah, that's another point of the screen. Uh, another point of the screen is the, the amount of detail you will see. Uh, <laughs> it's so much, it just looks so much better on the camera. And, and in real life too, it just looks so much better. Still, it's a, it's a great screen. You can see it well in many environment, but if you just put those to, uh, side to side, uh, I know it's it's stupid. It looks just so much better. Uh, okay, you see now uh, there's more color, there's more uh, power in the light. And if you look at, uh, I don't know, here you see that little uh, water water drop. Uh, there's there's detail into it. It's it's just it's not just flat blue like on this one. See, it's flat blue, and there you can see, you can see a water bubble. You got, you got more uh, details. It, everything just look better. And okay, one thing I will need to prepare the four watches. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I pick all of the four watches and put it at the same place on the map, and. Uh, they are all at, you see the, the mark at the bottom is all at 300 meters. So the little bar represents 300 meters. And the big difference you can see is that that one, the Apex 2, is have a black map. It's the same principle. Uh, not able to, it seems, it's not able to get a white map. Generally, I prefer black stuff. But I don't know, on map, I like it white. Probably that they just put it black because it consumed less battery. And maybe it would be too bright on the white. I don't know. But all of the watch is is on black mode. I love black mode, but I don't know. In, 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 in a map? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but probably the reason is that it consumed less uh, power to have a black map instead of the white because the black is just a turn off pixel while the w the white is a turn on pixel and every pixel that are on consume power. So that's probably the logical behind this. Uh, but uh, let's talk about details. So uh, you see here, 300 meters. That's the detail detail we got. And if I go to 500 meters oops okay 500 meters still got the street and 800 meters well we still got the street but barely see it and zoom out to 1.2 kilometers and don't see anything with the tactics, so which is the same thing as a 6x, if I zoom out to 500, still got the street, 
800. Still got the street, but um, barely visible, but they are there. And if I zoom out to 1.2 kilometers, well, I don't get it. I don't get it. If I come back here, um, so that's 300 meter on the 7X, zooming out to 500, still see it. 800, still see it, very good, instead of barely. And zooming out to 1.2, uh, still losing the streets. And if I come here with the Apex 2, 300 meter, everything is fine. Uh, going out to 500 meters, still everything is fine. 800 meters, still seeing the street, always visible. And now if I'm zooming out to 1.2, the street are still available. Um, and well, we can see it very well. <laughs> so even if the screen is smaller on the Apex 2, you can get more detail on the screen because it got more detail. That's awesome. And if we're going out of the map, uh, we're going to see something else. If I go into an activity, uh, because we got a screen with so much resolution. Uh, if I come back here and I go into um, walk setting, data screens, and I edit that one, I will change the layout now, which was not possible with uh, the smaller model, this, uh, the Garmin Phoenix 6. I don't know if it's possible with the Garmin Phoenix 7, not the X model, but just the 7. Uh, my guess is no, but maybe someone can comment on it because I didn't test it. But now I can have up to eight data on the same screen. Uh, we can have eight data on the 7X. We can have eight data on the Tactics. Actually, that's the six. <laughs> tactics, 7X, uh, Apex 2. Um, so all of them can have eight data, but if I go with that one, the 6X, no, it was <laughs> the 6 Pro, uh, it's only six data per screen. So another great thing about the screen. Now, did I took some other things in note? Um... No, yet I didn't take uh, any more notes, but there was one question that came back really often, and how do it, it's how does it look on my wrist? So let's do this. Okay, so the reason I didn't make it is because every wrist is different in size, and well, mine is around 165 millimeter. So that's what you see. Uh, if you are in the US, that's uh, six inch and a quarter, about. That's it. So uh, let's put the Apex on my wrist. Uh, I don't think I have a small, uh, a big wrist, far from that. Uh, so that's how the Apex 2 look on my wrist. Charge it by yourself. And I'll now put the 7X. I will not put the uh, Tactics and the Garmin Phoenix 6 because uh, the 6 is the same size of the, the 6 Pro I have is the same size of the Apex 2. And the, um, the uh, Tactics is the same size as my 7X. So that's how the 7X does look on my wrist. If you're used to big watch, seriously, this is the size of watch I wear all the time. I love it. I love big watch. If you're not used to it, probably that you will get used to it. I, I personally don't think it, it's big. But if you're not used to big watch, of course, it will feel big for maybe a few weeks or days or months, or you will always maybe feel it feel feel it uh, big. But well, that's the size of watch that I that I love, and 
I finished to just forget it. So yeah, that's that's what it is. I hope I hope you will have enjoy that video. And again, that was not a review. That was just my first thought. And well, actually, I love it a lot more than I expected. The screen is really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I, I don't think that, well, well, when I will be done with my testing and everything, I think that the 7X will still be my main watch until they release the Tactics Echo, maybe. Um, just because it's bigger. I love big watch. Uh, because the battery life is better and because it got uh, a real flashlight. I love it. So that's the three main reason why I will still prefer the 7X, I think. But uh, I would have loved if they, they, they give the option to have the um, Apex 2X. That would have been wonderful. I would really have liked that, but well, it's not available. So that's what we have now. Maybe the Apex 3 will will get it. I don't know. Uh, the Apex 1 was released uh, long ago, <laughs> so I don't know what what they will do uh, with that uh, with that watch. But well, that's what it is for today. Finally, uh, if you want to buy the watch, you can take a look at my link in the description. When you buy your watch through those links, I do make a commission out of it. So if you buy your watch from there, well, I thank you uh, because it helped me to uh, buy some other watch. And that's what helped me to make those videos. So again, if you buy from there, thank you. So I hope you will have enjoyed. And I'll see you soon in maybe maybe a few weeks for another video about that Apex 2. And in a few months for my final review about that watch. Take care. And so this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you need help to find this product online, please see my links in the description. And finally, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you're looking for a great review video. See ya!